Today I'm reviewing the Dash Mini Waffle Maker. This is a sleek, modern design made for anything from an apartment to a dorm room to anything, a small space, a smaller kitchen, what have you. Also, ideal for travel. As I stated before, this is a very sleek, modern design for this little appliance, the Mini Waffle Maker by Dash. Um, I got mine in silver. There's a little button right here that turns on and off. It turns off, or it's supposed to turn off when it's done cooking. Um, and it turns on when you've plugged it in and it's heating up. And uh, as you can see, a hot surface. There are a few warnings. One of the warnings is you need to make sure that you don't pick this up straight, that you pick it up by the side because the risk here is you burning your hand and or arm when you pick it up like that. I've got my waffle mix right here and I'm gonna go ahead and pour it in here. And we're gonna time it to see how long it takes until this waffle mix is fully cooked in this. So right off the bat, I immediately plug this in to the little strip down there this little mini waffle maker instantly started heating up afterwards. There's a little light right in there. I don't know if you all can see that, but it's lit up, it's blue, and that's signifying that it's heating up. I believe when it's fully heated up, it, the, that little light right there is gonna turn off. Apparently, this gets really, really hot. Oh, as you can see, the light just turned off, so this is all good to go. It's heated up, it should be heated up. Um, one con I do want to point out really initially is this little cord right here. It's very short. I know it says it fits in small spaces, which it does, which is okay, but I think I would have liked for this little cord to be a little longer. All right, so this is off, remember, Go to the side and pick it up because you're going to get heat on you if you pick up straight away. Wow, it's kind of stuck in there. Wow, this actually looks really good. It kind of looks like an ego. I would say it did a really good job at cooking this. However, you know, it's kind of stuck to the stuck to the top a bit, but okay. So everybody, I thought I may have overfilled it, but I don't actually think I did overfill it. I am just going to position this downwards. Yes, this actually looks pretty nice. What do you all think? Leave me a note in the comments below. Tapping on this, it feels very crispy, not too overdone. It smells delicious. If you all acquire this, I think you will find much enjoyment in consuming things like this. This is, I need to note to you guys that you can put any sort of batter in here as long as it's batter and make it waffle-like with this contraption. It doesn't need to just be waffles, okay? This took about two minutes roughly to just cook on itself. I timed it with my little stopwatch. All right, everybody, now time for the taste test. Let's see how this little thing tastes, okay? Mmm. It is hot, so be warned of that. Mmm. Very good. So, to conclude, I fully love this product. I would say I'm gonna use this on the regular. It's great, it's convenient, it fits, it's small enough to where you can just move it around wherever you want and it's gonna fit. Make sure you know you unplug it when you're done using it so you don't potentially start a house fire or anything like that. Now, if you decide to make, for instance, a waffle brownie, I think that will turn out delicious as well because you can use that batter for that too. So to sum up, thank you everyone for joining me for yet another video. Tune in next video for another one. Bye everybody.